Okay guys, uh, we're back here at our teak water hives. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get them ready for winter. Uh, season's pretty much done, nectar flow's done, put our strips in, take our honey supers off and we'll get into it. Check it out. Hey guys, so yep, we finished the site. Um, some things that I came across, um, I found Varroa in quite a lot of the hives. So it meant that um, I've had to put the strips in. Also, I pulled the honey supers off. Um, lots of honey on, lots of capped honey. Uh, the nectar, very minimal amount of nectar flow coming. Um, lots of robbing bees following me around. As soon as I open the hives, robbing bees are right in there trying to get into the hives. So next week, I'm gonna look at reducing the entrances. Seeing a few wasps, you'll see a really cool video of me squashing a, a wasp. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it today. Um, we'll catch you next time. So uh, I'm just gonna uh, go through how I'm overwintering my um, hives at the Teak Water site. Um, at the moment, this is exactly how 95% um, of my hives are set up. I've got, uh, I'm going double brew box, um, but what I initially had um, through the whole summer, I let them expand, I got them up into two brew chambers, I then pulled off the second box, shook all the bees down, kept the queen down here, I then had my excluder on here, so I meant the queen was down here, she stayed um, in the bottom, and that meant that she was isolated down the bottom, and the population of the bees in the hive was at its peak. And then at its peak, you're able to isolate the queen down here 
and then from there you don't have to go through two boxes all the time so the honey flow is stopped um, what I wanted was I wanted a really strong hive going into the winter so I had a whole pile more honey supers on top but what I've done is I've decided to let them keep some honey so I'm gonna leave the second box on so what I've done is I pulled this off take my queen excluder off a couple weeks ago now I put the honey super back on and let the queen come up into the second honey super. I want that population to be really strong, so I wanted to go and um, make as much um, brood as possible. <clears throat> so the more room, um, it's, 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 it's giving her more cells to lay in. Therefore, the population is gonna drastically come down. This way, I want it to like taper off just to where they're comfortable in the winter. So at the current situation, my hives have double brew box and then this top box it is actually really full of nectar. You'll see in the video that the one frame I pull out in the bottom of the um, frame, you'll see that there's a real small half circle of brood in the bottom and then the rest is all honey. So you'll see that this was originally a honey super and then I'm letting them come up and gradually let the queen lay. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave the honey super on um, this is uh, all full. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to help insulate the hive. Um, the, the liquid is a really good heat insulator. If, you don't, if you've got empty frames, that's when the, the air in the hive and the heat dissipates. So that's why you want the honey on top because it holds the heat and then that, that way it means that the bees aren't going to be working so hard to maintain a, the, the right temperature within the hive throughout the winter as well as giving the queen um, enough room to keep the population um, really really strong. So at the moment this is what I've got. I've got the two boxes. I'm allowing the queen to go up between the two and then I've got my top feeder here ready to feed the bees when their um, honey starts to um, go down which will probably be in two months. Um, that's when I'll be able to start feeding. Um, if I see that the queen is slowing down laying, what I'll do is I'll give them about two liters. That'll just get her ticking over. She'll, it'll stimulate her to think that there's a nectar flow and that'll get her pumping, getting her to lay again and keep that population at a really strong level that I want. I want the hive to be full of bees, more bees in the hive, more heat in the hive, the more capable and more probable that the hive will survive through the winter. That's a real basic, quick sort of um, tip on how to overwinter your hives. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that tip.